Achieving perfect grades like Anakoji Kiyotaka isn't just studying 100 hours per day or following the Pomodoro technique itch my ass strategy. It's about understanding the deeper workings of your mind. So today I'm going to share with you guys 5 steps to help master your academics on a Koji style. So let's get right into it. So step 1. Harness the powers of mnemonics and memory palaces. So first let's talk about mnemonics and memory palaces. And these aren't your average study techniques. They are powerful tools that can transform the way you retain information. So what you guys need to do is just create a memory palace. So visualize a familiar place like your home and associate different pieces of information with specific locations within it. So this ancient technique helps you store and retrieve vast amount of information effectively. And use mnemonics this way. So we want to develop complex mnemonics devices. So instead of simple acronyms like uh, WYM, what do you mean? You want to create elaborate, vivid stories that link the information in a memorable way. So the more bizarre and vivid the story, the better it will stick in your memory. And now the link me method, so it's still in this step one. So connect new information with something you already know well. So this is pretty basic. So you want to create a chain of associations where each piece of information is linked to the next in a logical or illogical manner, which makes it easier to recall. Step 2. Mastering the Art of Lucid Dreaming Believe it or not, your sleep can be a powerful tool for learning if you master the art of lucid dreaming. It isn't about getting a good night's rest, it's about using your dreams to enhance your cognitive abilities. So let's go over the lucid dreaming practice. So train yourself to become aware that you are dreaming while you're in a dream. So this can be, in true, this can be achieved through reality checks during the day and keeping a dream journal and using techniques like MILD monomic inducions of light lucid dreams and dream rehearsal so once you achieve a lucid dream like you're aware that you're in a dream in a dream use your dreams to rehearse for exams or review material so like this might sound weird but like you guys probably noticed it before like when something like really interesting is happening in your dream you like kind of like just orchestrate the plot in your dream you're like oh now i'm gonna do this and that but like at the same time like you know that you're gonna do this and that but at the same time you don't so once you achieve like that state you want to just basically just rehearse for your exams to start studying there and this is possible because like everyone a lot of people do this your brain processes information differently in a dream state which can lead to a deeper understanding and retention and lastly solve problems use your lucid dreams to work through complex problems or concepts that you find difficult when awake the creative and unrestrictive nature of dreams can offer new insights and solutions so today try doing this like for example like you might not be able to do it right away so like if you don't have exams currently or tests right now you can start experimenting and try seeing it for something else like for example if you want to hit 225 like in your lucid dream like put like reenact you hitting 225 and like eventually like you're it's kind of like manifestation but at the same time it's like making your mind see it's possible and you're activating it and then it's just manifesting real life it's like wishy-washy kind of but let's go on to step three step three engage in meta learning and cognitive optimization so meta learning is learning how to learn it's about understanding your cognitive processes and optimizing them for maximum efficiency so you want to use mind maps to organize and visualize information. This helps in understanding relationships between different concepts and improves recall. Cognitive load management. Be aware of your cognitive load. Avoid overloading your brain with too much information at once. So, th what this basically means is that if you have an exam, try not to talk to any of your friends, scroll or like check any of the news because the more information that's going through your mind at like this time period of your exam the more like your cognitive load is on be like overfilled and lastly narrow feedback consider using your narrow feedback devices to monitor and hit enhance your brain activity so s stuff like the aura ring or whoop these devices can help you achieve a state of optimal cognitive performance by providing real-time feedback on your brain waves. Step 4. Utilizing SD and Meditation So to achieve the level of focus and mental clarity needed for perfect grades, you must learn to master your internal state. 
So sensory deprivation and meditation can help you achieve this, but I'm gonna call it SD because it's kind of hard to pronounce. So SD tanks. You wanna use the SD tanks, also known as float tanks. These tanks remove external sensory input, allowing you to enter a deep, re deeply rela uh, relaxed state. This can enhance your focus and creativity and improve problem-solving abilities. Deep meditation. You want to practice deep meditation techniques such as respana or transcend, transcend, transcendental meditation. These practices can help you develop greater self-awareness, reduce stress, and improve your concentration and memory. And lastly, visualization. I want you guys to combine meditation with visualization techniques. Visualize yourself succeeding in your studies, understanding the complex concepts and achieving your and acing your exams. This not only boosts your confidence but also primes your brain for success. And now let's go to step five. Embracing biohacking and nootropics. Biohacking and the use of nootropics can give you that extra edgy cognitive performance, helping you achieve the level of academic excellence akin to Anakoji Kiyotaka. Nootropic Supplements Consider incorporating nootropic supplements into your routine. These are substances that can en enhance cognitive function, memory, creativity, and motivation. So common nootropics include race tams, modafinil, and natural supplements like Bacopa, Muniri, and Lion's Mane's Mushrooms. These are like all like have weird names, but I've read them out and they're all like, they all work. I personally haven't tried them because like they're hard to get. But if you're able to get them, I recommend it. Diet and intermittent fasting. Optimize your diet for brain health. Include foods rich in omega-3 omega fatty acids, antioxidants, and essential vitamins and minerals. Additionally, consider intermittent fasting. Fasting has been shown to improve cognitive functions, increase the production of brain-derived brain neurotrophic factor, BDNF. So what I say to this is that during exams, fat, do intermittent fasting and it will help you perform even better. Cold showers and Wim Hof method. Engage in practices like cold showers and the Wim Hof method. These techniques can improve your mental resilience, increase your focus, and boost your overall well-being. And now let's put it all together in a daily routine. So start your day with a cold shower and wake up your senses and so before I even start saying it, so this would you would use like during like your tests or like a important exam. So you want to start your day with a cold shower to wake up your senses and boost your mental resilience. Then you want to practice the deep meditation for 10 to 20 minutes to clear your mind and prepare for that day. And then if you bought the nootropic supplement, you would take it now. Study sessions. So for the study sessions, you want to just do deep work and just prevent any cognitive overload. So don't go on your phone. Then you want to create mind maps to organize your study materials and employ memory pauses and mnemonic devices to retain information effectively like I mentioned above. And then your evening routine. Spend a few minutes reviewing your day while visualizing your success in the exam. Then engage in a light exercise or a heavy one or yoga to relax your body and mind. And then prepare for lucid dreaming by doing reality checks and keeping a dream journal. And then this is the weekly practices I want you guys to do. I want you guys to schedule time for a, sensor, uh, for a session and sensory deprivation tank to enhance focus and creativity. And then you guys need to also set aside time for deep meditation and a Wim Hof breathing session. So thank you guys for watching. Peace on the street. If you want to join my one year white room program, 430 slideshow on white room training, classes A to D, special exams. Our current special exams is that there's like a task that every class member has is push up chest everything and their life calls and people are competing against each other in the chat class that comes out on top wins so that's like a glimpse of it thank you guys for watching peace on the street i kind of did stutter but a lot and i kind of messed up while speaking but i'm extremely sick and my eyesight is not working well so yeah thank you guys for watching peace on the street